this is Mr. Brown and today we're going to draw a tree. Now, and a lot of people like to draw trees. They just draw a trunk and they're like, here we go, I've got a trunk. And then they go around that trunk and add some cotton candy. They're like, boom, I've got a tree. See, it's, it, it's got a branch in it, maybe. It's a tree. Well, and yeah, that's fine. As, and that's especially okay if you're doing uh, something in the background where you really don't need to see all that amount of detail from your tree. And let's try to get autofocus back here. There we go, autofocus. Don't be crazy. I said don't be crazy, autofocus. Goodness. All right. Let's draw a little shape here for autofocus to stay on... There we go. So, as we go, <laughs> anyway, um, when we draw a tree, I like to think of a mathematical formula for uh, called the golden rectangle of one, one, two, three, five. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. And we use that when we draw trees to really think about the number of branches. So we're going to start out pretty big here with a pretty big trunk. Then we're going to just continue that trunk, staying about the same size. Then we're going to have a split come off the trunk. We're just going to get a little bit smaller. Not much, just a little bit. And over here, we'll split the trunk again another way. And everything as we get up gets a little smaller. This branch is a little smaller than that branch, and that's okay. I'm just going to bring this branch continuing up. And you might be wondering, why do I have the numbers? Well, one, one, two. So I've got two points here where it hits the next line. And three, I've got three spots there where it hits the next line three places where my tree is now splitting. And so at five, I'll split it again. Every time getting just a little bit smaller. And it works out really well. I'll go ahead and split this one. And this little branch is going to stay the same, but get a little smaller at the top. And that's awesome. That's a good way to draw a tree because it's not the only way to draw a tree, but it at least lets you know when you need to add another branch. So that way you don't end up with a ton of branches just all in one spot. They kind of just keep come producing naturally. Now you can add some smaller branches if you want to. Just kind of coming out. All of the branches should sort of be like the thumb on a mitten. They should go up but a little bit out. It should never really go all down. When you think of a branch, think of your thumb. The main trunk stays here, the branch comes off the other way. So we'll just keep going, adding some smaller branches. And you can really add lots of small things up here. You can even continue this up. You can split this again. Now our trunk is very, very tiny. Maybe there's branches going behind our branches and that's okay tiny little branches everywhere. You want to just make sure you keep getting smaller. Everything gets smaller as, than it was. That really creates the illusion of something more natural. And as we just go, we can do that. Now, does that mean this is perfect and done? Oh no. This is a guide. We can go back in now with a marker and kind of trace down and make some really more natural looking wobbly lines. Just kind of going across. Getting that a little bigger towards the bottom here. For the roots and whatnot. Kind of like to start up at the top. Maybe add a little on the branch. If I start the tiny branches kind of makes it a little easier to get 
go down the ladder. So if I start up here, might even go and add some branches that weren't there. Okay, start there. Maybe a little other branch. And see, when things go behind, we have to make sure we don't draw the lines across. Otherwise, it gets confusing as to what's in front of what. Overlapping should always be taken into account. Let me draw these. Hey, and there we go. We've got a pretty cool looking tree. One, we can even add a little tree notch in there. Maybe add a little shadow. And we've got this whole thing in the frame. There we go. So there's our tree. And it's pretty awesome. And there's some wires in front of it. Sorry, guys. All right. So what if we want to add leaves? and we don't want just a winter dead tree. Well, leaves are kind of cool and that leaves, you've got this kind of large leaf shape, comes into a stem, right? But that's not really everything that's there for a leaf. Leaves kind of follow the same rules of trees. We've got our stem that goes out towards a branch. We've got a little another section for veins and it breaks off. It splits. And sometimes they split evenly. Sometimes they split uh, in different ways. Like leaves might split in groups of three. And you get the same kind of patterns that you get with your tree for branches. Just going back in, splitting each of these little veins, going different directions connecting all of it so it looks like it has a support. That's what these veins do. I mean, they, they bring sh uh, food and water, or they bring water to the leaf, and we you know the leaf is the food factory for the tree. So all these little veins are just the roads that take the food back to the heart of the tree. Now, we've got a pretty epic looking leaf. It went from something fairly simple to something pretty cool looking. Heck, you add a little bit of shading and you got something professional there. So, how can we combine our knowledge of how trees work and these really cool leaf pictures. Well, we're going to do that by drawing a branch. I'm just going to kind of zoom in on one of these branches and we're going to draw it. And the cool thing is, since branches follow the main rule of the tree, I'm just going to kind of do a branch just like we do a tree. Set up some lines for plan separations. Kind of draw little branch trunk, have it separate out, and we've got our 
things there and we just continue these other things out and up and it's okay if your lines aren't perfectly straight as long as you just kind of make the same shape line on the other side it'll work out now I've kind of got everything pointed a little bit that way now I'm just going to go in going to add some larger leaves to it. Just the, like the same way we drew our other leaf with all the little bits and bobs and everything in there. Just fill this entire page with leaves. And just kind of plan them out. Have all of our insides in there have the leaves towards the bottom of the branch get a little bigger because they're kind of older leaves more mature and you don't have to do the kind of standard football leaf shape you can go in there's tons of really cool leaves out there you can go find a leaf from your backyard and you can trace that. You could find a leaves on Google and and use some of those as well. And then once we've got that done, just take our own awesome little marker. Trace our lines. Now I'm going to add a leaf kind of coming in from behind here. Just remember, trees are 3D things. They don't just exist flat. They've got stuff going on on almost every side. There we go.